Now going further, I would like to uh, showcase one the concept behind a typical cross section, the ideology, basic fundamental of TCS, and the uh, points behavior. So if you can see in this image, uh, I have taken a two lane, a normal uh, typical cross section, a, a, very, a very rough work. It is so my top layer is BC, which I have created in this. So I have created only one layer, which is, and that too of one sided, this layer, this component. Okay. And I need to constrain my points in such a way that my template never breaks off. So if your point linking is not good, so it may be possible that this green, the, the green point, which is at your center origin, this point is going to follow your center line alignment. So if you, if you want to, change this point if you do not want this point to follow that's up to you or that's up to you you can even change the origin and then uh, make other point to follow your center line alignment you can insert a point right over here and make that point to follow your center line alignment so that um, uh, it your alignment or your tcs is somewhat uh, horizontally offset it from the main so it's up to uh, the project requirement uh, that which point we need to follow we want to make a true follow Okay, so net, next is uh, how you want to, um, how you will be basically linking your points. So the best practice the for the horizontal linking, you need to locate or uh, link or constrain your uh, edge of payments to towards your uh, center line, which is your origin. And other points, if you can see layer wise, I need to constrain just above the point which is available, the, the point which is nearest, just above, I need to constrain in the same same manner. So this uh, this image uh, always guides me as well. Always uh, by seeing this image, I I I always uh, get remembered, like uh, how to create my template so that it never breaks off at any point of time, and my template completely acts as a monolithic structure. So basic, uh, this is a very common mistake. Like uh, uh, when these points are not connected good to each other, your template will certainly break off, and your model will be uh, distorted. So I hope uh, uh, using these arrows, everyone can uh, take a picture in their mind whenever they are going to design any template or draw, create any template. The point link linking should be same, uh, like. Uh, I have drawn, I have shown with the help of arrows. So this is a paint, which is a just a rough sketch. So coming back to the template creation window. So I have simply placed a one layer. Similarly, I'm going to place a next layer as well. I will select simple and I'm going to simply go, uh, I will simply snap towards the end of my first layer, which is uh, below, just below the center line. So as soon as I'm, I am snapping, I can get that point as well. And since by default, uh, my this point is at 12.5 meter, I will change its value again. So I can make, I can change the horizontal constraint of this point from 12 to 3.5. So if you can see, uh, now it's matching with the previous point as well. But a point to be noted here now there are two points, so one over each other. So the best practice says they should not be uh, the point should not be duplicated. Uh, if you want your template to be mon to act as a monolithic, you can simply right click over it and merge points. So you are having when you are uh, right clicking over your points. So there's an option called merge points, and this option will be only available when there are uh, multiple points it can be more than two more than three it depends so you need to merge all the points before uh, proceeding 
So when I'm clicking merge points, it's asking me to delete that point. So it's up to us. Uh, I want to delete point number one, which is for the first layer or point number two. So I'm going to delete the point one. Now I'm having only a single point. How can it be? How can I be confirmed when I will be right clicking over it? So now there is no option for merging the points. So that means uh, I'm good to go at this place. Okay, so in the same manner, let's place uh, another uh, component, layer component. I will quickly go and snap it towards uh, below the center line point. So again, I can change its attributes. Uh, okay, slope is okay for me, and I can change like uh, its horizontal distance from 12 to 3.5 again. Uh, suppose you those who work in offsets so they can uh, create some offset value also they can increase the um, length uh, road road lane of this component so since these uh, bottom layers will act as the wmm and gsb so for demonstration purpose i will be creating only uh, three layers so yes you can delete the points as well Okay, so if you want, suppose you want to uh, have a like uh, you want to have a sloping uh, sloping layer. So what you need to do is uh, suppose I tell you uh, give your uh, typical cross section uh, one is to two in slope. So all the layers should follow one is to two slope. So using your simple algebra, what you need to do you need to go to this point. Okay, so at this point instead of horizontal you can uh, increase this horizontal distance basically so this horizontal distance is currently set as zero with respect to this point which is obviously uh, which should obviously be zero because if i if there would have been certain if any uh, value right over here then this point would not straight away come just below it would have moved here on the left or right according to the sign which is available here so let us uh, i want since i want one is to two slope so i can just uh, double this value for my vertical so one is to two slope means one vertical and two horizontal so since it's uh, vertical is uh, 0 0.15 so i can simply type in here 0 0.3 and in the positive so as soon as i uh, place enter so if you can see the change Okay, so this point has moved along. So I will repeat it. And here I need to first merge them. So now I'm good to go. I, I will be um, creating a slope on all the layers. So let us keep as 0.3. for this point as well so i will change the uh, point now so i want constraint from this point and that to a horizontal and i will set this vertical i will check this vertical uh, what is the basically uh, vertical so it's it was default which is uh, which i haven't changed so i can change that even or if i go with this value so there is no harm in it uh, it depends on the complete it depends completely on your project requirements so, so let me keep as horizontal distance as plus 0 0.8 so twice of your my vertical distance and in the same manner for this layer point eight so if you can see uh, one side of my which is RHS once out one side of my uh, typical cross section is now in sloping and it is one is to two slope so that how I I uh, I was able to make that because uh, it was a, just a simple calculation in my mind like uh, if I need one is to two slope then uh, obviously 
the offset value should be twice of my uh, payment or uh, the layer depth so i can set accordingly now since you have created one side of your which is the right side of your typical cross section now let us apply some end conditions so basically currently i have created only three layers you can create as many as you may want there is no restriction restriction to layers so let us place uh, and demonstrate uh, end conditions if i open this end condition folder you can find there are certain pre sets uh, and pre uh, end conditions available and categorized within different folders suppose you need to uh, put a benching then there is a if you can see in this preview window in the below down there is a benching end condition also there is a rock bench and there is a combine so within combine you will you will be you can find all cut and fill slopes together so and if you don't want to place them together you can have a cut slope value two to one cut three to one and similarly for the fill as well there are multiple options for fill as well as for the ditch so the ditch can be of different types and you can uh, even manipulate its slope value or uh, assign the attributes to point like their end conditions should be infinite or not or there should be certain limit to their horizontal distance so everything can be uh, uh, done with respect to uh, your end conditions so let us place a sample like uh, cut and fill slope i i have selected that and uh, i'm going to snap towards the end of my last layer so if you can see uh, now i'm having my typical cross section uh, with the uh, different layers as well as some slope values basically uh, these slope values are my in my end conditions how my uh, template is going to follow my ground profile so these uh, uh, these all will not follow uh, only one will be selected and that depends how your uh, how your ground profile is basically uh, at which level suppose your uh, typical cross section is coming in your uh, cutting or if it is in filling so accordingly the slope values are going to change okay so next is uh, let us uh, create a complete typical cross section let us make the other half as well so since i was working here so for the for that what can i do is i can simply copy this template and paste it so now i'm i'm having two copies of my template so i can rename it also the newer one on which i'm going to uh, take the help of the previous template which i have made and mirror it and then attach it so i can give it a name as final okay and double click to get this template active okay so how to drag simply i need to select the previous template drag it to my template creation window and i ha i haven't left my uh, left click mouse button it's it is still pressed while pressing your uh, while pressing your left click you need to simply uh, right click and there will be two three options so there there is a mirror as well as reflect so since mirror will uh, create uh, both side templates again so since i'm having one side template ready with me so i will simply click on it reflect and uh, just snap towards the center or origin and left click to join 